unibus falsus in omnibus, are you not? You're aware of that jury instruction? Yeah, I, I am. You know what it means? You can translate it for me, Senator. You can do it better than I can. False in one thing, false in everything, meaning in jury instructions that we, some of us as prosecutors have heard many times, is told a jury that they can disbelieve a witness if they find him to be false in one thing. So the core of why we're here today really is credibility. Uh, let me talk. The core of why we're here is an allegation for which the four witnesses present have all said it didn't happen. Let me ask you about Renata Dolphin, who lives in Connecticut. She thought these yearbook statements were, quote, horrible, hurtful, and simply untrue, end quote, because Renata alumni clearly implied some boast of sexual conquest. And that's the reason that you apologized to her, correct? Uh, that's false, speaking uh, about the, the yearbook. And she, she said she and I never had any sexual interaction. So your, but, question, your question is false. And I've uh, addressed that in the opening statement. And so your question is based on a false premise and really does great harm to her. I don't know why you're bringing this up, frankly. Doing great harm to her by even bringing her name up here is really unfortunate. Well, calling someone an alumnus in that way, well, implying was what you're implying about by a number of your football friends at the time as boasting of sexual conflict. Uh, the, That's the reason that I'm bringing it up. And yeah, no, it's false. You're implying that. Look what you're bringing up right now about her. Look what you're Mr. doing, Chairman. I ask that Don't these interruptions not up. be subtracted from my time. Yeah, ask your question and then. Let She's a great person. She's always been a great person. We never had any sexual interaction. By bringing this up, you're just, just dragging her through the mud.